also no, one of the uh, performers, right? Matthew Clauser. <laughs> I have one prepared. I quickly found out on arriving here that it's not right to the evening. So I have here my trusty notebook. And in said trusty notebook, there's a poem inspired by the man of the evening, Joe Hoppy, who we've met, we shook hands for the third time tonight. Um, we met very briefly. And as life sort of sneaks into poems sometimes. So, if you like it, pat yourself on the back. If not, blame Professor Herndon, because I've been taking his classes. <laughs> uh, it, I've got a couple short ones after that as well. Uh, it's called After No One. <clears throat> Which begs the question, if that bell tolling for no one can be answered. Where one wonders if prodigal and edible, Oedipal aren't just equally indifferent. And continues thus and so, a teetering horse mounted with snot, the bow breaking his brush. Then, it was then the last batting at every man in back, Berryman included. <clears throat> this is to the college student who, after blowing his snot into a paper towel, used the same paper towel as a germ guard on the door handle. <laughs> you cannot run from yourself. You cannot hide. Wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> and the last one is a poem called Akathisia. For those who don't know, Akathisia is a sort of kind of uh, allergic reaction to medication. Uh, the first thought is that things appear as they must for a potato peering out of the thick rubber tire where it was planted by someone desperately hungry. Bright as that may be, like anything born must learn, and as so sung a suited man, but a time or two, it gets darker. It is a tremulous thing, a tropical chill, the shuffling of bones and the shriveling. The bladder stings exquisite in the driest dream. But what can you do with life? This parlor trick, once mastered, better left undone. So what can you do with life, except to not try that again? Thank you.